What's up everybody? This is Rizvan, your IELTS mentor. In this video, I'm going to further explore IELTS speaking exam. Let's speak about part one in IELTS, which is a short question answer conversation between you and your examiner. A lot of students make this mistake when it comes to the part one. They think it's a short question answer and they end up answering a question in one word, which is not acceptable. If you speak just one word like yes or no, if the examiner asks you, uh, what's your name? And you just tell your name, my name is Michael. So like Michael. That doesn't show any English skill in that. So always try to answer in a sentence. Because if you answer in a sentence, this will let the examiner know that you have this ability to speak in complete sentences, right? Usually they ask you your name when you enter, you sit down. After greeting, they ask you, can you tell me your full name? You can very comfortably speak into a, you know, a longer sentence like, my name's this you can call me this. For example, your name is Michael. You say, my name is Michael Smith, but you can call me Mike or Michael. So this shows that you can use a language. Another mistake that um, we do in part one is speak just one sentence and stop there. Try to speak two to three sentences. It's a short question answer, but it doesn't mean that it's very brief that uh, you just uh, get rid of the answer and um, let the examiner take care of what you want to say. Now, speak briefly, but not too brief that, um, you know, hide your language skills because that's what you are judged for, how creative you are in answering a question. For example, you say, what's the weather like in your hometown? Uh, you can give it an impressive answer like, and nowadays it's uh, kind of moisturous, humidity, and hot, and you feel suffocation when you go outside or if you are in a non-air conditioned environment. This will let your examiner know that you have skill to use the language with flexibility and you can use good vocabulary like humidity, moisture, suffocation. These are high level English vocabulary and it will let the examiner know that you have ample vocabulary to describe weather, right? Do not say that um, it's very hot in my hometown. This will not get you the score, the desired score like band seven and above. So always try to speak with detail, little bit of detail in part one, right? Um, don't be too brief and don't be too long. But within that small frame of sentence structure, you have to exhibit the best of your language ability. This is about part one. And in my next video, I will uh, explain in detail how to go for part two, which is like two minutes and more speaking nonstop. In part two, you will speak for two minutes nonstop until your examiner stops you. You don't have to worry about the time because they are noting the time and they are taking a track of how much have you spoken. They will ask you, okay, now you can stop. And then they move on to the third part. So in each video, I will explain. I have explained part one right now that do not be too brief and do not be too long and use the best of your vocabulary and complex structure in part two. In the next video, I will explain that, how to attempt that. All right, thank you so much. And I'll catch up with you later.